I'm going to show you how to use text templates in CapCut. Text templates can be very useful, but they've got one major problem. Let's get into it. The first thing I'll do is open up a project that I've been working on. This is a clip of a response that Siri gives to the question, what is zero divided by zero? You can hear the audio coming out of the speaker now. Imagine but you, you don't know the question that I asked. Evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does To show you, the viewer, the question that I asked, I can add some text to the beginning of this clip so that you can read the question from the screen. The easiest and simplest way to do this is using something called a text template. If I scroll back to the beginning of the clip, tap on text, you can see you can add text, you can add auto captions, text templates and stickers. I'm going to tap on text templates to begin. These are all the text templates that CapCut has for you to use. Each one can be used for free because there are no in-app purchases or paid features. Just select one and it will appear in the middle of the screen like this. As with any other editing application, you can move the text anywhere you want on the screen. But the first thing I'm going to do is tap on the check mark, then I'll double tap the text once again to bring up the keyboard. Also notice that the text layer does not reach to the end of the video clip. I'll have to fix that in just a minute. You can type text in here using the keyboard, or you can also use the dictation feature to save time. If you want to use the dictation feature, just tap the microphone key on your keyboard. and speak the question that you want to add. Just speak the question you want to ask normally and it will appear inside the text template. Another advantage to using the dictation feature is that in the case of zero divided by zero, it will automatically change the words to the mathematical symbols that you see here. Zero, division sign, zero, and then question mark. You can type text if you need to. To make the text the entire length of your video clip, just grab either end and drag it out until it reaches the end of the clip. Notice you can see the default end screen. Just remove it if you want to by tapping on it and tapping delete. Now we get to the problem with text templates. Although they look very good and very professional, you can't really edit the style in any way. This is the point of using a template. All of the appearance features are set for you. If you want more control over your text, you'll need to add it manually by tapping on add text. I'll do a tutorial on this in a future video. Although you can move the text anywhere on the screen you want to, and you can split the text or change what the text says by double tapping on the text to bring up the keyboard, the style is pretty much locked. I'll dismiss the keyboard. You can replace the text template if you don't like the one that you've chosen, but I'm going to stick with this one because it's one I like. The appearance features you've got are the ones that you're stuck with, unless you use a different template. You now know the question that I asked Siri. One thing you can do is split the text and I can remove the beginning half by tapping on it and tapping the delete icon. This will allow the text to appear once Siri is activated, but not before, like this. If you need to, you can also trim the video clip by selecting the video clip and doing the same thing on either end of the video clip. Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And your friends are sad because they don't exist. Oh wow, this escalated quickly. You can remove the text once the Siri voice finishes speaking by tapping on the orange layer. 
like this, and then tapping the delete icon from the main toolbar. Now, when I play the clip, you'll notice that the text only appears on screen for the duration that Siri gives the response to the question. Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And your friends are sad because they don't exist. Oh wow, this escalated quickly. To export and save your final video, tap the export icon in the upper right hand corner. Your resolution should be set by default. Once you tap the icon, the export will begin. Notice that the border gets surrounded by a white line. When this is finished, the export will be complete and the number in the center should read 100%. Don't interrupt the export at any point or you'll have to repeat it because the video will not export properly. You can find your exported video inside your camera roll.